You are now tuned in to the Brown Spade. So, today, family, we're just going to take a little small dive in for uh, Brittany Griner. Griner's welcome home party in her collegiate town of Baylor, Texas. At minutes, at a church minutes away from where she won the national championship, only attended 20 people. She only had 20 people to help celebrate her welcome home party. According to ESPN, the profile event, the church expected many more in attendance. In the event of organizers plan to grieve, grieve over the way the world is. So you had all these people to plan a large welcome home party. Now, granted, I'm, I'm not, I don't live in the United States. I haven't seen anything in the world news about Britney Spears on, on, on the, 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 the news here um, in the Dominican Republic. But 20 people, 20 people showed up. And, and I'm not making fun of the fact. I'm, I'm glad that the young lady is home. Let me say that. But I also knew that that was a very, uh, I knew that there was a political ploy and them keep spending, spending, spending the machine on the television, particularly ESPN to be one of them. They continue to push the message and try to make people feel sorry. And, you know, uh, we're rooting for, we're not going to stop. I remember a couple of teammates of hers even got on the, um, on the podium and, and, and crying. And I say, wow, you know, they really, you know, she really loved her. That's her teammate. Now I can see that. But those those commentators, I think their arms are twisted to say certain things um, that they're really not interested in. It's obvious that the world didn't agree with the way that the United States made this move because you also have a, a guy still in Russia who's been there for four years and Miss Griner, she only been there for less than a year. So again, that's the agenda of the alphabet group. Nothing against the alphabet group, but that's the agenda. They put her in front of the line. And so now we're the one of the laughing stocks. The other countries are laughing at us because of the the dumb move that we made. We gave away somebody who, who can, can literally hurt a country because he's a professional at selling uh, arms. And I'm not talking about uh, handguns either. But yeah, we're the laughing stock. And those guys at the ESPN, I mean, they kept pushing that narrative, pushing that narrative. And they act like they were so sincere. So my question is, where are these people, or where were these people, rather, when it was time for to celebrate Britney. Matter of fact, this is in her um, uh, collegiate hometown where she played ball and won a national championship. And you mean to tell me she can only get 20 people to participate in that? That lets you know that the hidden agenda is real. That lets you know that they put the alphabet people above all. And I really disagree with that. Have nothing against the alphabet people, but again, we got to stop rewarding people for doing wrong. And that's on every level. That's on every shape and color. The fuck out of here.